G'day, Carlos Sands. Welcome to my corner. The big question in Australian politics right now surely is, what drugs is Clive Palmer on? And where can we get some? Because that bloke is clearly off his chops. My only real concern is what the hell's gonna happen when he finally comes down? Because I'd hate to be the poor aide who has to tell him what the hell has gone on. Like Clive will be there holding his head like, oh, Jesus. Oh God, man, was I wasted. What did I do? Ah, uh, well, Clive, you formed a political party and you, you ran for, for parliament. What did I do that for? Well, Clive, you said that the, the common person needed someone who could stand up to the elite. But I'm a fucking billionaire! Yes, Clive, but you said, and I, and I quote, you said billionaires are an oppressed minority. What the fuck? Oh, and Clive, yeah, you also, you voted uh, to, to keep the government-funded uh, renewable energy program. But I'm a coal magnate! I fucking hate clean energy! We tried to tell you, Clive, you just, you, you, you just ran off to hold your press conference with, with Al Gore. <laughs> what the? Like, okay, man, just, look, just tell me. What else do I need to know? What else did I do? Are you sitting down, Clive? You see, you've, uh, you've got this new boat. Also, how do you feel about dinosaurs? This is my prediction for the future of Australian politics. Before long, you're gonna start seeing Clive Palmer heading up the anti-drug campaigns, saying, don't do it kids, just say no. Seems like fun, next thing you know, you'll be holding press conference talking about the need to save the planet. Is the Abbott government at the moment, it may be petty and cruel, but it is not competent. It is finding itself being knocked around by a lunatic like Clive Palmer. It, it's finding itself on the ropes thanks to a man whose idea of a wise business investment is to rebuild a ship that sunk a hundred years ago in the worst maritime disaster in human history and turn it into a tourism attraction. A man who, who looks at a golf course and thinks, all right, it's got the green, it's got the little holes with the, the, the the flags in them, it's got a few bunkers and trees. What else does this need? I know, a whole bunch of giant robotic dinosaurs. That's the man who's got Abbott on the run. Seriously, this is a weak government. And the lesson I think we've got to take from this, if we stand up to this government, we can beat it. Because frankly, if Clive Palmer can do it, so can the left. I'm Carlos Sands and that's my corner. <laughs>